What's up guys, Graham here. 3.1 is upon us and with this huge update to Rift, there are a lot of things to go over and many changes to PvP and it's a definite step in the right direction. So to start off with, I want to talk about the Warfronts. Now, all of their max time limits has been reduced down to 15 minutes or 20 minutes on Port Sion. So what that means is that no longer can these matches be strung out for the long 20 minutes or 25 minutes or whatever they are. Now they are down to 15 minutes and that is a great thing because man having those really long war fronts was absolute torture. But Port Sion was the worst with its 25 minute time limit or whatever it was but now that that time limit has been reduced you're probably not going to have these people going on these insane killing sprees like they were before but that's okay because I'd rather fight in shorter war fronts and also they have changed it to where the scoring mechanisms in war fronts award more points so take for instance if you click on the station in uh, the GAR station or you click on the orb and it gives points to the warfront. Now it'll give more points. Killing players has been increased in points as well. It's going to give you three or four points or whatever it is depending on the warfront. But a lot of things are going to speed up pvp in general which is a great thing you don't want people getting bored of it and feeling like they're just grinding away in these long war fronts so great job Tron. i really like this update now another thing that we need to talk about is marauder supply chest before it was how terrible the gear was so now that these are being boosted up and uh, now you can open up all your marauder boxes without worrying about getting the terrible gear now you can really enjoy the PvP gear for what it is something to be competitive in PvP with whereas before that was certainly not the case you had to do the PvE grinding in order to be competitive in PvP for the most part yeah, you could run around as an Inquisitor spec or a Ranger spec or something like that and do decent, but you needed the gear in general on just about any spec that you played. So with that change, it's a definite step in the right direction. Once again, I, I am just loving everything that they're doing right now. All right, so another thing that we need to talk about is all the class changes that's happening. Now, Necromancer, and yes, I am saying Necromancer, people, the ones that made fun of me, how I said it before, shame on you, but the Necromancer update is looking like it might be pretty decent. I'm not real sure how to gauge uh, the soul in general because I, I didn't play it very much. Whenever I did play it, it was so terrible in Warfronts. It was all fluff damage for the most part and hardly any CC in the builds that I was playing and I was just really not liking Necromancer at all so I basically took the whole build and threw it in the trash and never looked back. But now it's got an update with like Corpse Explosion no longer having a uh, cooldown and it's been completely reworked. And you got tons of other stuff in this Necromancer update that makes it to where you almost want to try it again. So we'll do some testing and see how it pans out. But if it's, if it's all just fluff damage, still, I'm not going to be sold on it. Uh, we managed to make the Warlock build into a burst build. Even though a lot of people opposed me on making it a burst build, it does work. But I don't know if the same can be said uh, with the Necromancer update. We'll have to do a lot of testing and see how it pans out. But I, I'm, I'm looking at it pretty positively. I, I don't want to be negative on it right off the bat just because of its past track record. So if any of you guys have any insight into how this Necromancer soul is 
going to be played please leave a comment in the description uh, in, in the comment section below because I would love to hear your insight into that soul and now uh, another soul that got updated was marksman and everybody's been mentioning me about this because if you've watched my videos for very long at all you know that the soul that I always went to whenever I wasn't playing my warrior was a marksman rogue build and I made tons and tons of videos of Marksman Rogue. But it got really weak for a while there. And it made me not want to play it anymore. Because Marksman Rogue was so good in the past. Because it did, de it, it did decent damage. But it also had great mobility. And I'm all about being mobile in PvP. The people that make builds where you stand in one place and have to take, for instance, in Warlock builds where you sit there and Void Bolt. No, I cannot play that way. I cannot play where I'm standing still and making myself a favorable target in PvP. So, Marksman was always such a good soul for keeping moving. But... It looks like some of the movement has been taken out, possibly, I think, and uh, replaced with a lot of stuff that will um, make it more of a DPS build. So now it's kind of going into the Ranger zones, should I say, because Ranger was always considered a not very mobile uh, build, but yet it had great damage. So it's looking like Marksman may be the same way. If it keeps a lot of its mobility, I will definitely love playing it, but I just have to test it out. There's just so much to see here. And if you guys end up making a good build for Marksman, please send it to me in private messages on uh, YouTube here because I would love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, I would love to be able to just grab a build and run around in Warfronts and be able to try to own it up and test it uh, with an already uh, designed build rather than trying to have to uh, come up one, with one myself. But, and if I end up using any of your builds in a video, trust me, I will compensate you with some wrecks because I really appreciate whenever you guys help me and I'm more than happy to repay the favor. So let's see what all has changed with Marksman. You got uh, free recoil is now a one hour buff. Uh, and the new description is rapid fire shot consumes a max of two combo points. Cast time of dead eye shot is reduced by 0.5 seconds. So dead eye shot was always something that uh, a lot of people used in their Marksman builds. But I didn't like it all that much because it required you to stand still. And I do not like to stand still in PvP. But a lot of people did use it and it may be a staple in this new soul uh, update. So it might be something I have to do. Who knows. I might not like it if it does that though. Um, let's see. Quick reload is now on a passive that awards a combo point every three seconds while the rogue is out of combat. Okay. Now, everybody has been talking about that, uh, the quick reload being uh, changed the way it is to award combo points while out of combat. That's a PvE change. Uh, that's for people that, you know, had to uh, get combo points built up before they pulled the boss. Most people were having to change over to Physician Soul just to build up combo points and then switch back to their Marksman build. Yeah, you know, it, I guess they had to throw some PvE stuff in there as well but barb shot also got a big uh buff it uh while bleeding it increases the chance of the target being critically hit by marksman channeled abilities by 10 percent so that sounds like it's just going to go from barb shot into dead eye shot we'll see i wonder what you guys come up with because man i can't wait to play some marksman all right, so another big thing that happened is the Reaver changes. Now, Reaver is getting more and more powerful to where I'm wanting to start combining it with other souls. Uh, take, for instance, you might try to put together like a Paragon Reaver or a Warlord Reaver or something like that because uh, the Reaver abilities seem to be really good in a lot of aspects. But 
Is it going to be good enough to run like a 61 Reaver in PvP? I don't know. I don't know just yet. It's so hard to tell on these changes until I've tested them out a lot. Because the Reaver abilities all have a 30 meter range now. It's the default range. Um, one of the really cool things that I am really wanting to delve into Reaver for is Shadow Warp. And it used to be where you had to target somebody and then you could teleport to them. But now it's a 15 meter blink in front of the Reaver and it removes all crowd control effects when used. And it's cooldown is only 20 seconds. That is awesome right there. And Reaver has a lot of other really cool abilities now and it's just a matter of seeing if it meshes well with other souls. Now you might try to play it uh, in addition to like a Warlord build and then realize that it just does not have the synergy that you thought. But if you guys come up with a good Reaver build or uh, a combo of like Warlord Reaver or a Paragon Reaver or whatever, uh, possibly even Tempest because you know since Reaver is uh, a ranged soul now Tempest might be a good compliment I don't know it's just so much stuff to test out but uh, soul sickness has always been such a big ability in Reaver and now it doesn't even have a cooldown so that's really cool and Shadow of Dread uh, has its cooldown lowered to 15 seconds I believe that is the stealth that warriors get in Reaver that is awesome so we'll have to see how it pans out I mean I'm just I'm just reading the changes right now and going man this sounds pretty cool but we'll see how it pans out another thing that got changed is the bar changes now all codas have a 35 meter base range and it's changed some other stuff it increased the damage of Coda of Wrath and Coda of Fury and uh, you know, there's just a lot of things that, there wasn't a ton of changes that got done to Bard, but yet it seems to be a buff to it. So now these Bard builds are going to be even more viable in PvP. I know just recently I was asking you guys to send me your Bard builds because Bard seemed like a good class to play and now I'm almost thinking that I'm going to have to have them resent to me because of the changes. Because what you guys sent me before is going to be changed now, possibly. I don't know. You guys send me whatever you want. If I end up using it, trust me, I'll send you some wrecks. But also the Nightblade changes. Nightblade, uh, let's see, it's, it, I think it got a slight nerf. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah well no it seems to have mostly benefits um it just the enhanced weapon enchantments is down 20 percent where it was 30 percent but heat retention seems to have went up a little bit uh i don't know we'll see how it all pans out but uh rogues are definitely got a lot of love this patch with bard nightblade and marksman updates so I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts. It's not really too detailed just yet because I don't know what to expect. But I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble on anyway. As usual guys, my name is Grim and I will see you next time.